Mm -hmm. A Royal Insider has revealed that Meghan Markle wants to sit down with the royal family four years after the Sussexes moved to California. Why is Meghan finally ready to hash out her differences with the monarchy? This was a really interesting development. You know, Meghan has um, kind of, you know, she's turned down requests from the King to, to go to the coronation. She turned down the invite to come with Harry to London a couple months ago. So um, this is a real kind of 180 for Meghan. But I'm sure from her point of view, she's probably looking, how can she carve out her role and how is she going to, you know, move forward? Um, not only in, in the public eye, but with her own family. So I can kind of see why maybe this would be a good time. Um, King Charles was going to Balmoral for his annual summer holiday in a few weeks. So that'll be a great time for them to possibly connect, whether it would be, you know, a conference call or maybe, you know, they could travel to the UK. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of months we hear that there is a bit of, of an update on that. So do you think that members of the royal family want to sit down with Meghan? Well, I mean, I think Charles, you know, as we've spoken about on this show before, I think Charles is eager to have more of a relationship with Archie yeah. and Lebet. I'm sure they would be at the at the centre of it for the King because, you know, he is a family man. He's in his 70s and obviously battling cancer. I mean, I think the King is really looking at, at his family right now. But yeah. I don't know if William and Kate, I, I think they're, you know, I don't think that would be interested. <laughs> And you know what? Fair enough. But look, we'll, we'll watch this space. Good inside tip. Yeah. We heard this week that Prince William and Princess Catherine are at odds where to send Prince George for secondary school. Mm. What's behind the disagreement and why is Kate reportedly digging in her heels? Mm. Well, I think this is something that a lot of parents go through, you know, discussing their children's education. And, and certainly it's a little bit different when, when their son is the future king of England. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, supposedly George is set to go to Eton, which is the same uh, boarding school that that uh, Harry and William went to. So it's certainly the family tradition to go to Eton. It's a very posh, expensive school. It's something like £50,000 a year. Wow. Um, and, and Kate is sort of on the flip side. She She's very much, you know, uh, more down to earth, I think. And I think she wants her children to go to a more down to earth school, maybe a co-ed school. Um, and, and supposedly there's a bit of tension. I don't know. I mean, George is only 10, but... Um, you know, and, and, you know, he's got Louis and Charlotte as well. So who knows where they'll end up going. But um, I think it was a relatable moment because, you know, again, like a lot of families go through that debate over whether to send their kids to the, the private school or go for something a little bit more down to earth. Yeah, interesting. It is a big debate for many families have to go through, but mm. not many have to deal with the fact that that's a future right. <laughs> King of England. Look, there's still no update on whether Princess Catherine will return to Wimbledon this weekend to hand out the finalists' trophies. Mm. Who could step in for Kate if she's unable to make centre court? Yes, yeah, so Wimbledon's been going on. Um, every day people have been looking in the royal box. Is Kate going to show up? Um, Funnily enough, there hasn't been a lot of royal action in the royal box this year. We saw Princess Beatrice there on Tuesday. And actually, when she was in the box, she was sitting next to the club chair of Wimbledon. So there's a suggestion that perhaps um, Beatrice could be called because, you know, she's she's obviously at Wimbledon. She's a tennis fan and, and she was there with the club chair. And, and Deborah Jevons is, is the club chair at um, Wimbledon. And she is the same um, official that spoke out a few weeks ago about Kate possibly making an appearance. So it, it'll definitely come down to Deborah. So whether her sitting next to Beatrice is a sign that it'll be Beatrice or another suggestion was um, the Duchess of Gloucester because she's also involved with the Wimbledon Tennis Club. Um, all eyes are, are going to be on, you know, <laughs> the trophies on Saturday. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Kate still makes an appearance. I still think that's on the cards, but my money would be on Beatrice. Okay, we'll wait yeah. and see. Riley Sullivan, thank you so much for joining thank us. You.